So, hello everyone. So, today, we will apply lahat ng mga natutunan natin sa tangent and second line. Pati yung mga theorems and postulates na na-discuss natin sa, sa isang video. So, activity. Use the figure in the given information to answer the questions that follow. Explain your, how you arrive at your answer. Okay, number one. So, this one, the figure is actually two second line intersect at the exterior of the circle. So, dalawang second line na nag-intersect sa labas. So, hanapin natin yung measure. What is the measure of ABC? So, this is the angled form. Now, the given is the measure of ABC. Ito. Me measure ng ABC. The measure of this arc is 160. And the measure of EF, which is this one, is 80. So, ano ba yung tinasabi sa theorem? That if two second lines intersect at the interior of the circle, the measure of the angled form, ito, is one half the positive difference of the two intercepted arcs. Ibig sabihin, angle ABC ABC is equal to one half the measure one half the difference of the measure of the two intercepted arc. So, 160 minus 80 one half of 160 minus 80 is 80. So, what is one half of 80? 40 degrees. So, the measure of this one is 40 degrees. Okay? Okay, for number 2, as, as you can see, the long tangent line na nag-intersect sa in exterior ng angle. So, parang the same. Remember nyo? The same lang din yung gagamitin natin. Parang ganito lang din siya. Ah, so, hanapin natin ang measure ng angle MQL ito. So, we have the measure of MKL which is 220. The measure of this one is 220. Ito siya na arc. And the measure of ML is 140. 140. So, ang gagawin natin is kunin lang natin yung one half ng positive difference of the two intercepted arcs. So, the measure ayun natin yung measure pala The measure of angle MQL is equal to one half the difference of 220 minus 140. So, 1 half, 120 minus 140 is 80. So, 1 half of 80 is 40. So, the measure of this one is 40 degrees. Okay, so let's proceed with number 3. Okay, ito iba. Um, the point of intersection ng dalawang second line is um, inside the circle interior no? nag meet sila sa interior so if uh, if RPR is 45 so this one RPR is 45 and QS this one is 49 what is the measure of PTR Saan ang PTR? PTR, this one. Hanapin natin yung PTR and R, R, RTS. Sige, unahin muna natin ang measure na PTR. So, what is the measure of PTR? Measure of angle 
T T R. To get the measure of that one, you just um, need to get one half the sum of the intercepted arcs of the angled form and its vertical angle. Ito, i-add ninyo, kunin yung one half. So, that is one half of 45 plus 49. So, one half of what is 45 plus 49. So, that is 94. 94. So, one half of 94 is 47. So, the measure of this one is 47. Forty-seven. Okay. Next one is, hanapin natin ang measure ng R, angle RTS. R, ito. R, T, S. Okay, remember that these two lines, ay two angle, are supplementary. When you say supplementary, dapat ang total ng angle nila is 180. Since 47 yung measure ng angle na to, this one is sa supplementary, itong dalawang angle ha. Since 47 yung angle, measure ng angle na to, to make it 180, dapat ang measure naman ng RTS natin, the measure of all RTS should be uh, 180 minus 47. So, 180 minus 47 is 133 degrees. So, measure niyan ay 130 degrees. Reason why? Why? Ganon ang measure? Because they are supplementary. No? Ito. Oh. This is a straight line. It's a straight line, and these are these two angles are supplementary. So, dapat ang sum ng kanilang measure ng kanilang angle is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, so we are done with that. Let's proceed with number number four. Okay, ito may may konting pagka algebra ang uh, ang problem na to. Suppose the measure of CG saan ang CG natin? Where is the CG? The measure of CG ito is the measure of this one is 6x plus 5 and the measure of AR this one AR is 4x plus 15 15 and angle AEC is equal to 120 AEC ito angle na yan is equal to 120 so we're going to find X um, the measure of arc CG and the measure of arc AR. Sige. Tingnan natin yung mga relationship. So, this one, dalawang second line, dalawang second line nag-intersect sa loob ng circle. This one, ito yung point of intersection nila. So, ang gagamitin natin parang ganito. But the problem is, we don't have the measure, wala tayong measure ng any of this angle. Ito, wala tayong measure nito. Hindi natin alam ang measure niyan, ba? Tama? Pero, pwede natin gamitin itong 120. We can use this 120 para malaman natin ang measure ng angle nito. Ito, pati ito. So, this one, this angle, itong 120, pati ito, are supplementary because this is a straight line. Straight line. And this angle, 120 and the other angle here, ay dapat 180 yung kanilang total na measure ng kanilang angle. So, ibig sabihin, 
ang measure nito is 60. Tama? So, on the other hand, ito din, sa kabilang angle, measure nito is 122 siya. So, dapat dito is 60 rin yung angle niya. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle form, ang measure ng angle form dito is 60. So, pwede natin gamitin itong mga information na ito para makuha natin first yung value ng x. So, sinasabi that yung angle form, which is 60, the angle form is 60, is equal to 1 half the sum of the measures of the two intercepted arcs. Ito, pati yung um, intercepted arc ng vertical angle. So, we have 1 half of 6x plus 5 plus 4x plus 15. So, magiging ganyan na siya. So, we have 1 half of I-combine natin yung mga like terms. 6x and 4x are the same. So, 6x plus 4x is 10x. 5 and 15 are the same. So, 5 plus 15, 20. So, we have 1 half of 10x is 5x. 1 half of 20 is 10. So, ilagay natin 60 dito. Nahanap natin yung value ng, ng x, ba So, pwede natin i-dipat yung 10. So, 60 minus 10 is equal to 5x. Divide both sides by 5. This one is 50 divided by 5. So, ang x natin is 50 divided by 5 is 10. So, ang x natin is 10. The value of 6, uh, x here is 10. Tapos, Letter B, madali na lang, since alam na natin yung value ng x natin, i-substitute na lang natin siya dito sa given. So, CG first. So, ito yung CG. So, 6. So, 6. Ito yung CG natin. So, 6. Ang value ng x natin is 10. 6 times 10 plus 5. So, that is 60 plus 5, 65. So, the measure of CG is 65. And also here, that is 4 times 10 plus 15 is equal to 40 plus 15, that's 55. So, the measure of arc AR is 55. Okay, so we are done with number 4. Let's proceed. So, meron pa. Ah, marami pa pala ito. So, number 5. So, number 5 actually is a tangent line. A tangent line in, and a second line that intersect at the exterior of the circle. So, gagamitin natin yung 1, 2, 3, di ba, na, na theorem. Pare-pareho lang kasi yun sila nang gagawin. So, ang measure, ang hinahanap natin is... Ah, okay. Iba ito. Ang hinahanap natin dito is ito. Itong... MC ito. So, ang given, given yung LGC, LGC, the measure of LGC is equal to 149. And the measure of LSC, so ito yung angle form natin is 39. So, hahanapin natin yung measure nito. What is the measure of this one? So, since hindi natin alam, pwede natin pangalanan siya as um, arc measure of arc MC. So, magiging ganito yung gagawin natin. Uh, okay. So, the measure of the angle form is 39 is equal to 1 half 1 half the measure a uh, 1 half the difference does the positive difference of uh, the positive positive difference of the two intercepted arcs so that is 
149 149 minus arc MC So ito yung hinahanap natin the measure of arc MC So yan yung hinahanap natin ito try natin hanapin ito siya So actually pwede na kayong Pwede na natin siyang So this one uh, We have Dito tayo sa kabilang Sa blank tayo So 39 So sa blank page Hindi magkasya doon So 39 The equation is 39 Is equal to 1 half of the difference of the two intercepted arcs, 149 149 149 minus um, the measure the measure of arc MC ayan So, ang gagawin natin is cross-multiply natin ito siya. So, magiging 39 times 2. Pwede natin i-cross-multiply doon. So, 39 times 2, that's 70, 78 is equal to 149 minus the measure of Art MC and then para makuha yun siya sa so 78 minus 149 is equal to negative measure of Art MC so 78 minus 149 78 minus 149 is negative 71 negative 71 equal to negative m measure of arc mc so since may negative dito pwede mag divide the negative both side para maging positive kasi walang measure naman na negative diba so ibig sabihin 71 siya so the measure of arc mc is equal to 71 okay so ibig sabihin measure nito to is 71 kung gusto nyo yung i-double check kung tama ba yung sagot natin um, i-add nyo yung dalawa i-add nyo yung dalawa dapat maging ang one half nya is equal to 39 so um, ay subtract nyo pala so 149 i-check natin kung tama 149 minus 71 78 divided by 2 1 half of 70 is 39 so tama yung sagat natin okay so we are, we are done with number 5 let's go with number 6 sige ok a line ok is tangent to circle R at C o saan ang ok ok suppose uh, line KC Line KC is congruent to OC. KC, ito, is congruent to OC. So, ibig sabihin, mm, the same yung kanilang measure. Ito na line, pati yan. OK is 56. Anong OK? Ah, OK. OK is 56. It, from here to here, that is 56. And RC is 24. RC. Okay, this one. RC. We saw yung gagawa tayo ng line dyan. RC is 24. Find OR. This one, OR. R, RS. OR. RS and KS. So, anong gagawin natin? What shall we do? 
So, ang gagawin natin, gagamitan natin siya ng Pythagorean Theorem. We will use uh, Pythagorean Theorem. So, para magamit natin si Pythagorean Theorem, we know that this, this line, yung KC, line KC and OC are congruent, ibig sabihin, hatiin na lang natin yung 56. Para makuha natin ang uh, measure ng KC pati OC. So, what is one, anong kalahati ng 56? So, 28. So, ibig sabihin, ang measure ng KC is 28. Ang measure ng OC is also 28. Then, we have, para makuha natin yung OR, itong hinahanap natin, gamitan lang natin siya ng Pythagorean Theorem. So, that is, tandaan nyo yung Pythagorean Theorem, A squared a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So, ito siya. Ito yung a natin. Ito yung b. So, 24. Sorry. 24 squared plus 28 squared is equal to c squared. Ito. Ito yung c natin. Yung or. Yung pinakamahabang line. Yung hypotenuse. So, 24 squared is 576 576 plus what is what is um, 28 squared as 784 so got to c squared plus nothing the lower 576 a 1360 get the square root of that one kasi yung c square natin is my square root so the square root of that one is 36 the answer here is 36.88 uh, so approximately or approximately or or yung C natin, sorry. Yung C natin. Yung C, which is the OR. C is approximately equal to um, 36.88. 36.88. So, yan yung measure niya. Okay. So... 36.88 Then, we are also asked to find the measure of RS. Ito, R, RS. Anong measure ng RS? This one is a radius. And this also, this the measure of this one is also uh, the same. Kasi radius man yan sila. Ibig sabihin, kung 24 ito siya, the measure of RS is also 24. Okay? So, para makuha natin yung KS, no? para makuha natin yung KS, ang alam naman natin na ito siya, measure nito is 36.88. Isa-subtract na lang natin ito, ito, para makuha ito, itong measure nito. Kasi kung ruwent mo yan sila dalawa, di ba? According dito. So, we have Ang, ang KS natin is equal to 36.88 minus 24. So, the measure is approximately, nagamit lang tayo na approximately dito. So, 36.88 minus 24. So, 12.88. So, KS natin is 12.88. So, yeah. So, the measure of OR is uh, 36.88. Yung RS natin is 24. And KS is 12.88. Okay? So, we're done with number 6. Let's proceed with number 7. 
Ah, ito. Isang, isang tangent line and isang second line um, nag-meet sila sa point of tangent C. So, ang gagamitin natin ito, ito yung panglima na theorem. So, para lang siyang scribe angle. So, ibig sabihin, kung ang measure ng R, Q, and O is 238. Kung 238, ito siya, ang measure nito. What is the measure of angle P, P, Q, O? So, ang P, Q, O dito? P, Q, O. Ah, ito. P, Q, O. P, Q, O. Tama ito. Measure nito ay P, Q, O. Anong measure nito? Para makuha ang measure niya, dapat malaman muna natin ang measure nito. Kasi ito yung intercepted arc niya. So, we have the idea, we have the information na ang measure nito is 238. And one circumference of a circle is equal to, isang circle, no? is equal to 360. So, 360 minus na lang natin yung 238. So, 122. So, measure ng, ng arc na to is 122. Now, since, uh, according to theorem number 5, para makuha yung measure ng angled form, kunin lang yung one half ng measure ng intercepted arc. Or in other words, para siyang inscribed angle. So, what is 1 half of 122? So, 1 half of 122 is 61. So, the measure of this one is 61. Next one is PQR. PQR. Ah, ito. What is the measure of PQR? Ito. Okay. The measure of PQR is... Um, this angle is is ka vertical niya itong angle to tama they're opposite ang uh, they are vertical angle ibig sabihin kung anong measure nito yun din ang measure niyan yan yung sinasabi sa vertical angle so kunin natin ang 1 half ng 238 238 so 119 so 119 ang measure nito Ibig sabihin, ang measure nito is also 119. Another way on how to solve that is, this angle, yung 61, pati ito, are supplementary. Tama? They are supplementary. Dapat yung total ng kanilang, measure ng kanilang angle is equal to 180. So, ganun lang. So, 180 minus 61 is 190. So, pwede yung ganun ng relationship. Ito naman, they are supplementary. Ibig sabihin ito, kung, kung, tinata, kung tanong, tanungin kayo kung anong measure ito, um, supplementary man sila, so 61. Or vertical sila, ba diba? Vertical angle sila, so the same yung kanilang measure. Ito naman, vertical angle, the same yung kanilang measure. Basta tandaan nyo, pag supplementary, dapat 180 yung measure. Ito 180 din. Okay? So, we are done with number 6. It's so, our number 7 rather. Let's proceed with number 8. So, for number 8, um, line PR is a diameter. Ito. Of circle O. And the measure of arc RW. Arc RW is only the RW is 55. Ito. This one is 55. 55. Fine. Ito, hanapin natin yung measure nito. But before that, kailangan muna natin i-label. This one is a diameter, sinabi doon. Ibig sabihin, ang measure nito, itong sa baba, para nito ay mahirapan mag-identify ng mga measure mamaya, itong sa baba, ang measure niya, since diameter yan, kalahati, ito semicircle, so 180 ito. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, itong sa taas, semicircle din. So, ang kulang na lang, alamin natin yung measure nito. Ito. Itong isa. Ito na arc. So, 55 kasi yun siya. Ibig sabihin, ang measure nito, 
is 125. 125 plus 55 is 180. So the measure of PW or PW is 125. Okay. Hanapin natin ang measure ng RPW. RPW ito. This is an inscribed angle. Dapat tama. Kasi yung, yung vertex niya is on the circle. So, tingnan natin yung intercepted arc niya. Ang intercepted arc niya is itong 55. So, para makuha ang measure ng angle na ito, kunin mo yung 1 half ng 25. What is 1 half of 55? So, 27.5. So, the measure of this one is 27.5. So, this one is 27.5. Next, the measure of angle PRW. PRW ito. So, this one is also inscribed angle. Ang intercepted arc niya itong 125. Dama, kasi dito man yung... Uh, isang point dito. So, this is the intercepted arc. So, 125. What is 1 half of 125? So, 62.5. So, the measure of this one is 62.5. 62.5. WRE. WR. WRE ito. I-raise muna natin ito kasi hindi na masyam. Ito. Yan. W W R E. Ito. What is the measure of What is the measure of this one? W R E. So, the measure of WRE is what? The measure of WRE is equal to this one. Ito, nakita niyo ito. This is perpendicular, ibig sabihin. It measures 90 degrees. And also, this one also measures 90 degrees. Tama? Kita niyo ito na sign. That is uh, a 90 degree measure ibig sabihin yung kabilang um, yung adjacent angle niya is also 90, 90 degree ibig sabihin since na, na ito siya is 62.5 to make it 90 ano na lang ang kulang dito so 90 minus 62.5 62.5 so 27.5 so, the measure of this arc is 27.5. So, nakita niyo relationship. Kita niyo kasi ito siya is um, 90 degree. Perpendicular. WRE is 27.5. WER. Saan ang WER natin? Ito. W, E, R, ito. What is, this is the angle form. Actually, this is, um, two, uh, one second and one tangent line meet at the exterior point of, on the circle, of the circle. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin apply yung, yung theorem about dito. So, the measure of angle W, E, R is equal to one half the dif the positive difference of the two intercepted arc. First arc is ito, which is 55 and 180. So 180 minus 55. So one half of um, 180 minus 55. It's 125. So, what is 1 half of 125? That's 62.5. So, 62.5. So, the measure of this one is 62. 62.5. 62.5. 
and the last one is E S E E W R. Ito E W R. This one. So this one. Um, pwede nating up. Ito yung theorem number five. Pwede nating apply yung inscribe angle. Tama ba? I apply natin yung um saan ba siya nag-meet? Uh, e W R ito, pati yan so, pwede natin i-apply yung inscribe angle dito so we have um ito, measure kasi nito is 55 so ibig sabihin uh, what is one half of 55 so, 1 half 25 is 27.5. Ayan. E, W, R. Tinanda natin. Alis na natin itong mga nilagyan natin ng note. Ayan. So, ito. Ang measure kasi nito is the measure the measure of this one is 55. Ang inahanap natin anong measure nito? Itong angle form. E, E, W, R. So, this is, um, we can apply, we can use the theorem number 5. So, kunin lang ninyo ang 1 half, 1 half ng 55. So, 27.5. Okay, so that is the answer. Ito na po yung mga answers natin sa ating given. Okay, let's proceed with number 9. Meron pa number 9. Circles P and Q are tangent. Circles P and Q are tangent to each other at point S. So, P, saan ang P natin? P and Q are tangent to each other at point S. Okay, tangent sila because th this is the point of intersection at point S. AB is tangent to both P and Q. O, tangent siya it's because it intersects at exactly one point sa both circle. Ito yung point of tangency ng both circle, pati ng line. Suppose AB is 16. So, measure nito is 16. AP. AP ito. AP is 12. And AQ is 10. Ito ng AQ. Ah, ito. AQ is 10. What is the length of PQ? If it bisects AB. What is the length of PQ? Ito. PQ. If it's bisects AB. So, hanapin natin ang measure nito. So, pwede natin gamitin dito si Grew Relationship. Pwede natin gamitin si Pythagorean Theorem. So, yung AB and A line, AB natin is 16. Tapos dito yung it bisects, no? PQ bisects AB. Ibig sabihin, hinatin niya sa gitna. Ibig sabihin, ang measure ng uh, from he from this point S to A is kalahati ng 16 which is 8 8 ang measure niyan, 8 din dito so measure nito is 12 dito is 10 Tama? so hanapin natin ito so pwede natin gamitin ng Pythagorean theorem unahin natin yung uh, ito na triangle ito ito Yan, yun ang gagamitin natin first. So, we have A natin is 8 squared plus ang hinahanap natin ito, palagyan natin yan yung B squared is equal to 12 ito, so the hypotenuse squared. So, 64 plus B squared is equal to 12 squared is 144 Ilipat natin sa kabila, B squared is equal to 144 
minus 64 80 so square root of 80 b is equal to square root of 80 so saka na lang natin ito siya i um, simplify so ito point p to s is square root of 80 next one hanapin naman natin ito anong measure niyan so we have um a squared palagay natin a squared yung hinahanap natin plus ito ito yun no a squared is equal to 10 squared so a squared plus 64 is equal to 100 so a squared is equal to 100 minus 64 a squared is equal to 36 and a is equal to 6 so 6 the measure of this one is 6 so ibig sabihin i-add na lang natin yung dalawa so the measure of PQ PQ is equal to square root of 80 plus 6 or approximately what is square root of 80 square root of 80 okay, 8.94 plus 6 so one, 14 approximately 14 point 94 units ang measure niya. Okay? So, gamit na gamit talaga si Pythagorean theorem dito. Okay, and the last one, so ito na binaka-last. 10. Um, line segment 80 is tangent to both circles K and J at A. If line ST is tangent to circle K at S and RT is tangent to circle J at R if ST itong measure ng ST natin is 2x plus 7 and RT RT ito is 3x plus 1 ito naman hanapin natin ang value ng x ST, RT, and AT. So, ma maalala nyo yung theorem that um, two segments are congruent if they have a common um, exterior point. So, ito siya. This one. Ito siya. Kasi isa lang may exterior point nila, ba? So, ibig sabihin, ito itong tangent na ito pati tangent na yan congruent itong tangent na ito pati yan congruent so ibig sabihin if ito pati yan congruent itong line na uh, itong tangent na ito pati tangent na yan congruent so ibig sabihin um, ito lahat sila are congruent they are all congruent may tiyo, uh, may uh, theorem tayo about dyan. Theorem number 3 sa, sa tangent line. Yung sinasabi uh, doon. Na kapag yung dalawang tangent line may um, nag-meet sa labas ng may common point ang intersection na sa labas ng circle, they are congruent. So, ibig sabihin congruent ito lahat. Since congruent itong dalawang line na ito, itong 2x plus 7 and 3x plus 1, pwede natin equate ang dalawa kasi um, the same man yung measure nila so ibig sabihin magiging ganito yung ating equation 2x plus 7 equate natin siya sa 3x plus 1 kasi the same man yung kanilang measure ito kung ruwent man dyan ibig sabihin equal so hanapin natin yung value ng x ito diba x hinahanap yung value ng x I-combine lang natin yung mga like terms. So, 2x minus 3x equals, i-partner natin to 1 minus 7. So, this one, 2x minus 3x is 
negative x is equal to 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Divide both sides by negative 1 para maalis si negative. So, x is equal to 6. 6 siya. Okay, so para maalaman na natin yung value ay yung measure ng st ito, isubstitute lang natin dito si 6. So, 2 times 6 plus 7. 2 times 6 is 12 plus 7. 19. So, the measure of this one is 19. Tinan natin kung mag-19 din dito. So, 3 times 6 plus 1. So, 3 times 6 is 18 plus 1. 19 din. So, ibig sabihin, um, congruent man sila lahat. So, ibig sabihin itong 80, 19 din. 19 din ang measure niya. Okay? So, yun yung uh, relationship ng uh, ng congruency. So, we are done. So, na-apply natin yung mga theorems about sa tangent line and second line. So, okay. Tapos na natin ang sagot. So, I hope um, nagamit at na nagamit natin yung mga yung mga theorems and I hope na intindihan nyo yung ating mga discuss. Kung hindi man ninyo na himay-himay ngayon, siguro pwede, niyo, pwede kayong sumagot in your own para medyo ma-master ninyo ang ating topic. So, yun lang. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, and God bless.